Here is the list of top 10 upcoming U.S. missiles. Major nations have been racing to build new missiles, some of which can travel at hypersonic speeds and have large ranges. The United States is developing new missiles to replace their older ones, and these new missiles are unquestionably versatile, with the ability to be used for both precision conventional strikes and nuclear missions. Let's take a look at the 10 most lethal missiles that the U.S. will be developing in the near future. 10. AGM-183 ARRW The first is the AGM-183 air-launched quick reaction weapon, which is a hypersonic cruise missile produced by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Force. The AGM-183A is a boost glide weapon with a stated maximum speed of Mach 20 and an operating range of around 1,600 km or 1,000 miles. This hypersonic missile will be carried by bombers such as the B-1, B-2, and B-52, as well as the future B-21 Raider, and will be pushed to hypersonic speed by a rocket on which it is mounted before gliding towards a target. 9. SM-6 GLCM the SM-6 ground-launched cruise missile or GLCM is a variant of the standard missile SM-6 designed to bridge the gap between precision strike missiles and long-range hypersonic weapons. In November 2020, Lockheed Martin was awarded a $339 million contract to produce the missile by 2023. The SM-6 GLCM can swap down air-breathing threats such as aircraft and cruise missiles over long distances. 8. JASSMXR or AGM, while also possessing terminal ballistic missile defense capabilities, Lockheed Martin initiated research on an upgraded wing in March 2016, with the goal of increasing range even more. The JASSMXR, originally known as the AGM 150 AD, Lockheed Martin was awarded a contract in September 2018 to manufacture an extreme range variant of the AGM 158. The weapon would weigh roughly 2,300 kg and have a range of 1,900 km with a 910 kg payload at a unit cost of $1.5 million. A new missile control unit, improvements to the wings, a different paint coating, an electric safe and arm fuse, a secure GPS receiver, and program protection requirements are all included in the missile. 7. Maritime Strike Tomahawk the Marine Strike Tomahawk is a modified version of the tactical Tomahawk land assault cruise missile that can destroy surface ships at distances of up to 1,600 kilometers. The missile's primary duty will be to keep the Chinese Navy's surface force at bay in the South China Sea. It will be equipped with improved navigation and homing capabilities, allowing it to knock out targets at long ranges with incredible accuracy. The new missile will be deployed on board surface ships and submarines by 2023, according to the U.S. Navy. The hard target kill model will include an improved warhead capable of destroying enemy assets that are densely constructed. 6. AGM-181 LRSO, Raytheon is a company that specializes in technology. The AGM-181 long-range standoff weapon, which will replace the AGM-86 ALCM. It is a nuclear-armed air-launch cruise missile. According to defense publications, the U.S. Air Force may buy over 1,000 LRSO missiles, each with a range of more than 2,400 kilometers. The LRSO will be fired from a variety of aircraft, including the B-52 bomber and the Northrop Grumman B-21 stealth fighter. The LRSO program's purpose is to develop a weapon that can penetrate and survive integrated air defense systems while also pursuing vital targets. It is projected to reach initial operational capability in 2030. 5. AGM-88G or AARGMER. This is a new form of the AGM-AA missile with many enhancements aimed at increasing operational range and survivability. It is supposedly twice the range and speed of the AGM-8E, giving it a range of roughly 300 km and a top speed of Mach 4. The USAF eventually joined the program, which was working on internal F-35A and F-35C integration, and chose the twin ARGM-ER as the foundation for the ground assault, standing attack weapon, which is anticipated to enter service in 2023. 4. Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf comes next. 
the United States Air Force Research Laboratory has awarded Lockheed Martin a $110 million Phase I contract to develop and demonstrate the Grey Wolf, a future subsonic cruise missile being developed by the United States Air Force to counter integrated air defense systems using networked collaborative operations technologies. The Grey Wolf technology demonstration, developed by Lockheed Martin, will be a low-cost counter IAD missile capable of operating successfully in highly contested settings. It is projected to be operational by 2025. 3. Precision Strike Missile The Precision Strike Missile is a next-generation low-risk long-range surface-to-surface missile, developed for the United States Army's Precision Strike Missile Program. Armies will be able to destroy a range of adversary threats with a new ballistic missile, including missile launchers, air defense systems, troop assembly staging locations, and command and control centers. It would also be capable of devastating objects up to 499 kilometers away utilizing missile delivered indirect fires. In 2023, the Precision Strike missile is planned to have its first operational capability. 2. Long Range Hypersonic Weapon The Long Range Hypersonic Weapon or LRHW is a surface-to-surface -surface hypersonic missile designed for deployment by the United States Army. The LRHW is a ballistic missile that will accelerate a standard hypersonic glide body warhead to the speeds of Mach 5. The missile, which can be launched from land or sea, is expected to enter Army service in 2023. The long-range hypersonic weapon will be deployed by the U.S. Army in an 8-missile battery incorporating four M983 vehicles. The weapon will be deployed on Zumwalt-class destroyers by 2025, followed by Block 5 Virginia-class submarines in 2028, according to the Navy. 1. Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent Finally, the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent or LGM-35 Max Sentinel, is a U.S. land-based intercontinental ballistic missile system in the early stages of development slated to replace all Minuteman III missiles in service with the U.S. Air Force from 2027 onwards. The new missiles, which will be in service in over a decade from the late 2020s, are estimated to cost around $86 billion over a 50-year life cycle in March 2019. For GBSD, the W87 Mod 1 thermal nuclear warhead was chosen to replace the W78 warhead used in Minuteman 3. Thanks for watching till the end. If you like the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.